Old school death metal. That is the name of the game here. It's not only that Swedish people can do Swedish sounding death metal, but also other bands which have totally the understanding for what the old school Swedish death metal sound is like, how the riffs are made and so forth. And I'll use this video as an excuse to say rest in peace, Mr. LJ Petro. Thank you for your time with Entombed and all that stuff. Not that you're watching, but people, remember that we have lost an important death metal vocalist, the generation's voice, as the saying goes, this week. Let's get later back to that. Now it's time to go more positive direction. Anyhow, this one is Douthus, which is a Dutch band doing very traditional old school death metal, and one could even say the Swedish style, hence the reference to uh, Swedish death metal. This band is not very old, but that doesn't mean they are not doing quality music, because that's in fact what's the case here. This album is called Cold, and this cover image and everything here with the inlay and all is very much supporting that thought with these blue colors and well this rather frozen being on the on the CD and front cover here so a very very much like a death metal presence here with kind of a black metalish feeling if you know what i mean i mean you have this sky haze over here and in some way some ways this kind of a color seam seam <laughs> All kind of remind me of a black metal release but make no mistake this is death metal no lyrics whatsoever found this is only thing that there is to be reading about this album so you have these five gentlemen here in their images and this text and obviously on the back side of this booklet you will have more information about the band like the lineup and recording information and the kind of a classic thank you lists which are not that common anymore more these days so like I said this band is quite new founded in 2015 in the Netherlands and this is their second album the first came 2017 and that I rem don't remember hearing so this is my version run with the band as far as I could say and um, this album came out in March 5th 2021 so which very very fresh from the oven or like the saying goes what you have here is independent CD edition, it says, and also digital. Well, this is released according to the information on this album by Stage Blast Records. So I don't exactly know if this means the very same, because uh, I got the impression that this is the label operated, uh, this band operated label, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's not that touch that sub subject, because it's not really the deal here. What we have here, however, is this nine tracks and 42 minutes of death metal. Very traditional take on the matter, that is, these guys are not going to do any kind of a modern stuff, but actually going back to 1990s, yet with the more of a modern sound. Modern sound doesn't really mean that it's not a fitting thing here with the music, just to uh, kind of like point out that this is not maybe so much an analog release. At least it certainly doesn't sound like we're going back to Sunlight Studios in 1990s. Now, when I said that this is reminding me a lot of uh, old school Swedish death metal in particular, uh, that means that these riffs are quite familiar in style. That is, if you have ever been listening to bands like Dismember or Entombed or Grave, etc. The list goes on for a long time. This is not to say that this is a clear copycat either, more like they're tapping to the very same vein, but still make it, making it sound, you know, their own way. But this is so familiar that it could actually be kind of those uh, nostalgia trips. And that is obviously a good thing. I mean, there are lots of people who kind of uh, hate the idea of copycat bands or copying some certain age or era or place, etc. But I don't know. For me, it's more like if you like certain style, why not get more about it? And that's where Doubtus is doing quite a nice job. I mean, this is a very strong and solid album, but let's be honest about it, it could have even more catchier songs, even more memorable parts. So when you put this one in comparison to one of those of the classic style of the early 90s, or maybe in some cases late 80s, you know, it comes kind of a trickier. Like, why would you pr uh, listen to this one rather than, say, Left Hand Bad, Clandestine, etc.? 
Now, then again, you might have already listened to a millions of times those classic ones. So maybe if you want to go to the same genre and the same style, but with something new, then you would pick up albums such as Cold. So in my opinion, this is a good album, but it could definitely benefit even more from somewhat original feeling and even more catch your lead guitars, maybe guitar solos or just riffs or chorus parts, which would make it like an instant classic. Now, who knows if this will be a future classic. I'm no foreseer guy, but I would say this is something that has a lot of promise to become a next big thing for Dutch death metal. So obviously, you know now what to do. Check out the band and what can I say? I hope you like it. Let me know if you have questions and answers. Let's move from there. Thank you and bye bye.